Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I want to do a quick video on how to transition from your rifle to your pistol. There's no right way or wrong way. I just kind of want to go over a couple tips that have helped me over the last few years and go over two common ways that people like to do it. So first and foremost, we are empty, just so you guys know. And uh, this is a fixed magazine rifle. If you are here in California, make sure to check it out. I've done a video in the past. I'll post links below in the description for this rifle as well as this pistol. And again, we are unloaded. This is going to be my competition 1911 from Springfield. So yeah, let's go over the first way that is probably the most common. So let's say you're shooting your rifle and all of a sudden you get a stoppage. You want to attempt to put it on safe. And then people like to put it inward. So the one perk that I like about this is when I put it inward, I feel like I'm a little quicker with my hand being right here to marry your grip. At that point, you keep shooting, do what you have to do. And then if you have time, you want to freshen up your pistol magazine. So you're going to do a tack mag, which obviously you're going to get your new fresh magazine. At this point, I'm going to drop my old magazine, put my new magazine in, keep the pistol down range in case you have to start shooting again. At this point, with my pistol down range, I'm going to turn the rifle around now. Look at my stoppage. If it's empty or if it's a failure to extract, if it's a double feed, whatever. I want to see what I have to do to fix it. Usually it's going to be a reload for the most part. So at that point, once you see you can fix the situation and you have time. So I'm going to put the pistol away in my holster. Now I'm going to drop the old magazine. Put a new mag in real quick. So now I drop the old magazine. I put my new magazine in. Go ahead and send the bolt forward, charge it, whatever you have to do, and then put it back on fire and you'd be good to go. So that's the first most common technique. All right, so now let's go over the second technique and this is my preferred method. It's pretty similar to the first one, but instead of turning it inward, I like to just attempt to put it on safe and then I just drop it straight down. Instead of turning it inward, I'd like to drop it straight down because as soon as I draw my pistol and do my work, I feel like when I drop it straight down, it's quicker and easier to see the stoppage instead of having to turn the rifle around. So another perk of dropping it straight down, I feel like the magazine doesn't get in the way of your pistol mag. So when you turn it inward, I feel like the AR-15 magazine sometimes will get in the way. Sometimes, unless you really put it all the way over here. But that kind of is just more movement. So again, that's why I like to drop the rifle just straight down. Because again, I can see the stoppage a lot easier by just picking it straight up. And I can also draw my pistol magazines a lot easier without being in the way from my rifle mag. So again, I like to drop the rifle just straight down. That's going to be my preferred method. There's no wrong or right way. The first method is really efficient as well. It's kind of what you want to practice and get quicker with. So just want to go over the perks of both and kind of why I like to do the second method. So if you guys have any suggestions or questions, make sure to shoot me a comment down below. And yeah, in case you're interested, there's going to be links for both of these firearms in the description. Make sure to check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today and thank you for watching.